I'm Zach McGinnis. And I'm Matt O'Hanlon. And we are uh, co-writers and co-directors of the soon-to-be-realized short film The Somnambulist. And in the following, we've cut together moments of our creative process. Enjoy. Is there anything in your life, object or relationship, that gives you a feeling of freedom, but at the same time holds you back or makes you feel dependent? Do people of different economic standings seem fundamentally different from you? And how do you think we make this determination? We were walking when we both had the same idea just about the same time about a man who lives in two worlds. In the so-called real world, the waking world, he lives as a homeless man who prepares gourmet meals from simple ingredients, providing for his less fortunate peers. He also has access to another world where he is wealthy and respected for his merits, a top chef with his own TV show and restaurant. His entry into this world is enabled only through a secret possession, a talisman he holds near to his heart, one with a long and personal history. It's going along with the theme of class separation and the ability for someone of any stature to quickly transform the collective perception of their status. Since Sal's story consists of a dual-world narrative, we picked locations that illustrate the intertwined nature of these worlds, having a foreground of dystopia against a background of utopia, with a strong, causal, cyclical relationship between them. An opulent dream world set in the background, the lived waking world of a homeless camp in the foreground. Throughout Sal's story, his troubled past is hinted at, and it becomes clear that something very important is unresolved, something fundamentally linked to his secret talisman. While avoiding an inevitable confrontation with his past, he finds security in the creation of good food, the one thing he feels he can control. His life had taken a turn and he ended up on the streets. Partly by choice, partly by circumstance, I reckon. I was thinking, imagine if he were still a chef, still putting culinary skills to use. I would think that a guy who was once wealthy or had some kind of access to the things that a wealthy person does would probably take something out of that and want to serve his own community that way. If he's an upstanding character like Sal, he is, in a sense, his community's provider. He's like a doctor. He nourishes them. His recipes are informed by his past, but we don't really reveal Sal's background. Maybe he studied cuisine in school. Maybe he was a chef at one point. Maybe uh, it's always uh, just been a hobby of his. He just knows quality food, quality ingredients, and he makes it available to the community. Essentially, he gives them a taste of a better life. Mm -hmm. 